Hello. Very good evening.
very warm welcome to the business clinic uh, series today's edition focuses on kitchen and electronic appliances sector i am sushma morthania director general india sme forum your host for this evening business clinic series is presented by the forum for internet retailers sellers and traders which is an arm of india sme forum Uh, which specially caters and focus to the retail and trader uh, sector today being september 5 i would like to wish all our viewers a very happy teachers day and i would also like to take this opportunity to express heartfelt gratitude to all our mentors who have been tirelessly guiding hand holding and uh, facilitating all our uh, entrepreneur uh, members for uh, growing their businesses developing their businesses and uh, uh, giving them uh, timely solutions um, to make such imperative and important decisions uh, for their respective businesses in today's business clinic edition of uh, focusing of focus sector kitchen and electronic appliances i would like to present a few facts about this sector kitchen and electronics appliances sector constitutes for about 3.4% of india's gdp unlike most of the sectors that had a negative impact due to covid-19 kitchen and electronic appliance sector had a positive impact um no wonder we were all working from home and it has led to a hike in the sales of laptops tablet phones tv uh, since we were all uh, being in touch with each other digitally the indian electronics and appliances market was valued at 78.95 billion us dollars in 2021 and is expected to grow at an impressive compound annual growth rate of 12.78% in the forecast period 2023 to 2027 and to reach 160.03 billion us dollars by 2027 the global size of the electronic appliances sector is valued at 738.75 billion us dollars in 2022 and is expected to reach 1240 billion us dollars by 2030 the electronic appliances sector currently employs 12 lakh people in india with an employee base that has grown at a compound annual growth rate of more than 45% up to 2022 in financial year 23 the exports of electronic goods were recorded at 23.57 usd billion as compared to 15.66 usd billion during financial year 2022 registering a growth of almost 50.52% and it's only expected to reach 120 usd billion dollars by 2026 the figures only say how vast this sector is and how it's going to grow however there are a few challenges that this sector faces and that's what we are trying to address today by speaking to some of our esteemed uh, experts and speakers 
and entrepreneurs who are already successful in this sector. Some of the challenges that um, come to the top of our mind are supply chain problems, uh, lack of manpower in the sector, shrinking operating margins, service and warranty management issues, short product life cycles, and so on. So without uh, wasting much time, I would like to invite uh, today's esteemed panel and we would straight uh, would like to start with the panel discussion. Uh, over to my team member, Shonit, to introduce the panel, please. Uh, thank you so much, ma'am, for your detailing about the sector and now uh, directly going to inviting our panelists for the session. So first, I would like to introduce and invite our first panelist, who is Mr. Jadeep Singh Gaur, uh, sir is co-founder and director for River Consumer. Uh, hello, Anand sir. Uh, welcome to the panel and thanks for being in the panel. So, uh, time uh, to invite our next panelist. Uh, name of the panelist is Mr. Jadeep Singh Gaur, sir. Sir is co founder and director, Reward Consumer. Thanks, Anand. Hi, Anand. Good evening, all. Thank you, sir. Thank you for joining the panel. Uh, now it's time to uh, invite our next panelist. Uh, her name is Miss Midula Deva Bhaktuni. Ma'am is co founder and CMO of Mivi. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Welcome to the panel, ma'am, and thanks for joining in. Thank and uh, now is the time to inviting our last panelist, uh, who is Mr. Sukraj Palso, sir is co-founder and MD of Ambrain India. Is your soap size here? Uh, sorry, maybe some due to technical glitches. Uh, sir is not here, but he can join. So without delaying further, uh, I would like to introduce the moderator for this session, uh, which uh, President of India SME Forum, uh, Mr. Vinod Kumar, sir. So inviting our moderator. Good evening, everybody. It's a pleasure Welcome. to be here. And over to you, sir. I think Mr. Rajpal has also joined us. Yes, yes. Thank you. Welcome, uh, welcome to all our friends that are here. And thank you very much for taking the time out to uh, participate in this business clinic. Well, uh, the focus of discussion, like Sushma ji did talk about, is on developing business strategies uh, for improving operational efficiency streamlining supply chains and optimizing inventory management. Apart from that, we'll also be discussing insights on leveraging digital platforms, uh, e-commerce for increased sales and uh, customer engagement. Uh, we'll also try and look at effective marketing uh, techniques 
specifically for the kitchen and electronic appliances sector. Um, and uh, we hope uh, the audience that we have, I think around 700 people that have joined us on the uh, Zoom platform, uh, welcome to all of you also. Uh, thank you very much for finding the time to join us here today. And we are very, very sure that each one of you will be able to derive the best possible, um, uh, you know, uh, I'd say inspiration, motivation, best practices, whatever we can try and uh, offer to you, uh, courtesy the entire panel which has joined us today, uh, to whom we are extremely thankful. So I'm going to first, uh, you know, look at when when we talk about, uh, uh, you know, Jadeep Ji, Jadeep Ji um, um, has uh, come out from BIT Mesra Ranchi, uh, has a MBA in finance. And he worked at, with various in various capacities at various companies, including at MobiQuick and uh, KPMG. And now Jaydeep Ji has started his own venture, and that has been, uh, you know, one of the fastest growing brands in India. Um, and he's also, um, uh, you know, known as an entrepreneur who has achieved all this in a very short period of time. So Jaydeep Ji, my first question goes to you. You know, um, what are the factors that you considered while placing your product? in a specific market and what was the TG that you were looking at and were you looking at omni-channel from day one or were you looking at just uh, you know uh, setting up uh, producing and then you would decide as to what exactly uh, uh, would happen in the market marketplace thanks Unajji. uh I think the the idea was just to start So, so we have we have lost your audio. No, we can't hear you. It was right there. <laughs> As you started, it was right there, and all of a sudden, it just um, gave us the miss. No, so we, I I think you might need to disconnect your. Uh, uh, air pieces and we might try using the normal route. Am I audible now? Yes, absolutely. Okay, great. So I think uh, the biggest learning that I, uh, over, the, over almost a decade spending in investment banking and talking to several promoters, etc., was it's important to start. And that was the only idea uh, uh, behind uh, launching a product or finding a TG. So I think uh, that was the initial point, and when when I when we saw other players who are actually like almost larger players uh, uh, using OEMs to the uh, upwards of 50, 60, 70, 80 uh, percent, uh, even listed players, that gave us confidence. Ki, okay, boss, if a one mil one billion dollar company can can do it with OEM, why not us? Why, why do we need to spend that kind of capital in terms of building or uh, think about manufacturing setup, etc. Can we not take up a product and start figuring out what is the TG? Right? So I think that was the uh, uh, starting point uh, for, for us and for me personally. And we went after the largest category wherein uh, I think a mass consumer category with lighting and kitchen appliances. Uh, so that was two categories. Adamberg was already known in the market. There were upcoming brands like Lifelong and other players who have done successfully in e-commerce sector. But what was missing was a new age uh, brand in kitchen appliances who at the beginning may start with uh, omni-channel practices wherein like um, uh, is my product available to wherever a customer wants to buy it from be it amazon be it flipkart be it offline channel be it any other channel right and is the sales experience consistent enough for him to recognize my brand uh, uh, from day one okay these guys are serious in the market and their product is also serious so i think that was the uh, initial thought of how uh, we started the tg was uh, tier 2 tier 3 uh, women primarily uh, because I think, I mean, from last, last almost a decade, wherein uh, in 2010, almost close to 10% uh, women used to take 
uh, such decision now it's almost 40 to 50 percent almost one crore additional sellers have been added to amazon alone right so i think the the ta- the 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 audience was large enough for us and in particularly we went after the kitchen appliances mixer uh, segment which is where we thought at least let's get an entry into the kitchen or home and then let's figure out what works and what doesn't you are on mute vinod ji sorry i sometimes forget that i have kept myself on mute <laughs> but sorry for that but you know moving forward you know that's what you described is um, um uh, has been i think uh, a, a very serious question which has been in front of most entrepreneurs that are that are uh, taking the jump to be uh, you know um, get into this extremely overcrowded market and people feel there's no room for anybody else there's so many brands and it's difficult to get shelf space but at the same time what you rightly pointed out how do you get into a market unless being where your customer wants to see you and that's the most important thing and you know the fact is when we are looking at uh, major uh, 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 target groups between 20 and 40 we find them searching most of the stuff online and you know then taking a call on wh- whether they should go to a shop to pick it up or you know order it online and stuff like that so uh, very very wise uh, decisions there i'm going to go over to uh, ashok ji you know we all know about uh, uh, embrain it's it's a very large uh, i mean uh, uh, a big co- a company today over 250 crores in terms of turnovers having their own manufacturing facilities and in an across segments like power banks wearables um, i think i think earphones speakers you, you know the entire new age uh, you know tech tech bundle i'd say which most of the youth need today and it, it's now on its way to uh, launching overseas and also becoming a bigger brand so i'd like to know from you ashok ji you know when you went on to launch uh, ambrain did you already decide that you know which is your desired con- uh, uh, consumer group and it's only going to be available here and then how did you find uh, uh, how did you strategize placing your products against all of these uh, consumer groups thanks vinod thanks for the yeah pleasure pleasure so, we just started 11 11 is back and initially because the market was very new and on every day the gadgets were coming into the new gadgets were coming into the market so we started with a shop in the nehru place first so we spent some time there and then we get to know what are the market needs so the market was very much crowded on that time for these kind of products so we just understood that what are the customer need and what are the new age products because the people are attracting to the new technology always so we started with the tablet pc and the power banks both were the new gadgets on that time so by the show by the, from that show we get to know what are the customer and what kind of product the customer is looking for so absolutely when you are going to the market you need to find a good product so for the embrain our values are for the products only uh, first we go for the product obviously the part product should be accepted to the market and india is the mass market so the price and presentation uh, everything is very important so very correct for uh, after some time when we get to know the these are the good products and we can focus for a long time obviously the market was accepting us and when uh, we were on the peak we started our own manufacturing on that time so because the from, from the buying from china is always a risk when you are Very behaving like a trend so you can you cannot rely on the china <laughs> so from uh, when we started to manufacture here so we again the quality was the most important so we started our journey with the cells from samsung and lg only so battery was the main main component for the power banks so the, this was the initial journey we started and the focus was only on the product on that time how, how did you take the jump to making the product available throughout the country you know when you wanted to go beyond this 
just one shop in Nehru Place. Obviously, there was a quite a lot of traffic you might have had there. Nehru Place is supposed to be the den of distribution and uh, you know sales of all of these electronic items. But how did you gradually decide that I am going to make this available throughout the country, completely online, and from this one shop? So on that time, the online was just starting. Started in, in the in the initial time. So initial uh, after starting Amrain in the first three months, we were just understanding the market about the product and the quality and overall all the things. So after three months, we just understood the main market is for these kind of products are online only. So we went to the online e-commerce portals like we started with the shop shop close and snap deal, and the, obviously the product was new, but. It was very hard to get to customer know the what kind of product this is and how to uh, how much how much important this is. So initially on that time the uh, e-commerce platform doesn't have the category like power bank. They were having just chargers <laughs> or battery. So we, we get educated that what what kind of product this is and what kind of importance it products have this product have. So it was very challenging initial time, but yes the product was new age and the quality was good. So the things were getting expect, expect, accepted so very fastly. And uh, so today, are you selling across all the platforms? And how is the traction? You know, a lot of people ask me this question. People who are uh, in retail today at the ground level, and they are keep on asking me, which are the uh, you know platforms where you are able to sell the most with with least problems, with least issues? You know, every platform seems to you know showcase itself that this is the right platform for retailers uh, for retail uh, or internet retail what according to you which are the platforms that are exceptionally good and that that offer you the uh, you know ease of operation also and obviously a much bigger a wider market base the platform in sense of uh, for the e-commerce platforms or e-commerce as well as you might also have your own website you might have also uh, you know, uh, 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 sales like most people do on Instagram. There's Instagram shop. There's Shopify shops. There's so many uh, possibilities. So, what all? Where all do you uh, today get most of your business from? So, right now uh, we are doing business in all the segments like e-commerce, B two B, modern trade, uh, distribution channel, all the sectors. But yes, for the new age carriers. Still, still the online market is having more okay. share most important i think more, more than 60 percent share for products in which we are doing right now some 60 percent more than 60 percent market is for, from the online only and from the online i can say for our kind of products i think more than 85 80 to 85 percent share having uh, amazon and flipkart are having that amazon and flipkart so ashok ji i want to ask you one more question uh, uh, retailers से बात करता हूँ पूरे इंडिया में और बड़ी uh, सी एक उलझन होती है कि भाई मैं ऑनलाइन जाऊँगा ईकॉमर्स पे जाऊँगा तो मुझे बहुत कंपैरेटिव होना पड़ेगा शायद मैं मार्जिन नहीं मेरे को मिले बहुत तकलीफ होगी ब्रांड बनाना पड़ेगा uh, दूसरे के प्रोडक्ट्स में डालूँगा तो उसमें तो कोई मार्जिन नहीं है you know, uh, uh, saying that any e-commerce to humko maar dega, na ki badaega. To un logon ke liye kya hai? Kya ab kya bol sakte hain? Because I kai baar koshish karta hoon ye sawal ko address karne ke liye. But you know, ab se ye jawab aayega, to I think I'll also get illuminated. So business is always like this only. Initially, ab kisi bhi business mein jayenge, you have to spend. A lot in, in in the initial time for for the after matlab agar main kahunga ek se do saal ke baad jaakar aapki journey wo start hoti hai ki ha aap break even ke aas paas aane ki try kar sakte hain but initial time mein to aapki spending hogi aur business is always starting with the risk matlab usme chances bhi honge aur efforts bhi lagenge aur everything you have to invest into this and you have to put all your experience along with the money and products and everything so this is not that simple for anyone so, आपको लाइफ में थोड़ा हार्ड डिसीजन भी लेने पड़ेंगे उस समय एंड आई कैन से मतलब जैसे हम ट्रेडिशनल लैंग्वेज में पहले कहते थे कि पहले साल चट्टी दूसरे साल चट्टी तीसरे साल खट्टी तो मतलब आपको पहले साल तो एफर्ट्स ही करने पड़ेंगे आपकी इन्वेस्टमेंट्स ही लगेंगी 
तो लोग सोचते हैं कि हाँ मतलब इनिशियल टाइम पे हाँ पहले तीन महीने छह महीने में प्रॉफिट्स आने लग जाएंगे तो मेरे को लगता है वैसा कुछ नहीं होता इनिशियली आपको लर्निंग काफी मिलती है वेन यू डू समथिंग पीपल विल मतलब लोग आपको जवाब बताएंगे कि हाँ आपको इस तरीके से प्रोडक्ट में डील करना चाहिए इस तरीके से इसको अपग्रेड करना चाहिए ये नई टेक्नोलॉजी है आपको इसको एड ऑन करना चाहिए एंड देन यू हैव ऑल्सो पुट योर एक्सपीरियंस की क्या इम्प्रूवमेंट मेरे को करनी चाहिए और क्या नहीं करनी चाहिए यू हैव टू चूज सिलेक्टिवली तो पहले एक साल दो साल तक तो आपको एफर्ट्स करने पड़ेंगे उसके बाद रिजल्ट्स आते हैं एंड दिस हैपेंस विद एवरीवन आई एवरीवन वेरी करेक्ट सर वेरी करेक्ट आई मीन यू हैव आई थिंक यू हैव टू पे सेल्फ एक्चुअली बिल्कुल सही है बिल्कुल सही है इनफैक्ट मैम मृदुला मृदुला जी से पूछूंगा यू नो नेक्स्ट उनका एक कैटेगरी है आई मीन आई मीन शी आई मीन ऑब्वियसली शी इज गॉट अ ग्रेट एजुकेशन इन इंडिया एंड अब्रॉड शी इज बीन इन Uh, computer sciences but then she set up this 100% indian audio brand which I mean, most of us know when we talk about indian audio brands means you need to manufacture in india jaise ashok ji ne start kiya emrain ka manufacturing in india similarly mridula has also started manufacturing in india and across a group of products so earbuds were speakers were sound bars were smart watches so uh, ye mivi jo aapka brand hai mridula you know aapne kaise Uh, ये ब्रांड स्टार्ट किया क्या व्हाट वाज़ द उद्देश्य व्हाट वाज़ द बेसिक द मिशन फॉर यू व्हेन यू सेट इट आउट एंड डिड यू डिड यू नॉट फील दैट द मार्केट हैज टू मेनी पीपल ऑलरेडी फॉर यू टू फाइंड दैट स्पेस एंड क्रिएट दैट स्पेस हाय विरोजी थैंक्स फॉर द क्वेश्चन सो वी स्टार्टेड द ब्रांड इन 2016 and um uh, in 2015 actually we came back to india because we always wanted to come back to our own country and start a business of our own we went around uh, and saw this white space we always feel like you know the market is cluttered no matter what space we look at you have to identify a gray space that's existing and it always exists in every category Very at good. that point of time for us it was you could choose between two uh, different categories of brands you could buy international audio brands like you know the sony's jbl's sennheiser's uh, but the problem with that is if you could pick up let's say a sony headphone for 100 dollars in the us they were charging indian consumers 150 because is their lack of focus on the indian market be it duties so indians were getting overcharged plus the products were always made for the west you know india has unique preferences indians we like we have our own taste and these products that were made for the west is what was being sold to indians at a much premium price uh then there was this other segment which uh, is an unorganized sector where uh, at that point of time it was called uh, smuggled goods uh, and all that where products were not using genuine components and that would eventually damage your phone damage your ears so we saw this white space where you could create an indian brand which was focusing on what does india need what does the indian consumer need and making it value price you know generally the perception is that indians are very price sensitive we totally disagree with that i believe that indians are value conscious what do i get you know how much or the maximum i can get for the money i spend is how we look at things so we found a huge white space there and we were in our 20s at that point of time of our first business very naive so we thought first day we'll start manufacturing and we'll manufacture these products we went around the country for about a few months met a lot of people and realized there wasn't a single audio manufacturing company in india and when i mean manufacturing it is not just assembling goods but also designing and developing product and technology so uh, we started by importing goods but what we did was we never white labeled and sold we figured out what is the pain point or what is the product missing from the market and would sit with different suppliers and curate a product uh in the meanwhile we've also started developing teams and training teams in india after four and a half years we've started india's first product development and manufacturing unit in audio electronics so that has been the journey for us 
excellent you know uh, in fact you know uh, uh, I, when i talk about journeys you know i always feel that um, most of the entrepreneurs in this entire segment are actually trying to create a completely new india where which is not relying only on international uh, suppliers and providers and technology providers so that is the new india that we are all hoping to look at and you know uh, wanting to belong to uh, i am going to go, go over to anand ji now anand ji you know you have uh, uh, been uh, in the investment banking space then uh, you switched over to in uh, mnas to consumer goods uh, manufacturing trade and so on and so forth now you used to have this um, family owned business that you operated and then you uh, you know transformed it into a completely new omni channel sort of a, uh, a business which was basically in kitchenware and homeware and all that so please tell us you know kitchenware kitchen uh, interior you know anything to do with the kitchen majority of it is online offline everybody says you know i want to just go uh, uh, you know and do it and and feel it and then decide what i want to do how did you think about this um, brand uh, the kitchen brand for for your seba group as completely an omni channel sort of a business sure uh, thank you uh, hopefully audible uh, thank you yes. i think I, it's very interesting because when i'm listening to jaydeep ashok ji midula i think the the process is the same the fitment in the market is different uh, we are into kitchen products uh, and slightly more on the mid to premium segment uh, and you know like uh, some of them uh, i spent some time uh, outside lucky enough i spent some time outside india and when you come back you like there is an opportunity over here and uh, i think midula mentioned you, know, you have to find the white space uh, in the market we had a family business that was all about manufacturing in india and exporting outside and when you meet your customers and when you experience what's happening outside like why can't all of this be available in india why can't we get a a good quality knife in india uh, you know i mean right. and i use this example a thousand times and links back to you know my mom and through my childhood i have seen her use only one knife the one with stainless steel <laughs> in the front plastic in the back and uh, you know fast forward 20 years my wife now will have a whole set for herself and a different set for someone else you know so things have changed uh when i came back and when we looked at this we said the consumer is changing and if we don't change with the consumer it's it's not going to work you know at some point you know ashok ji mentioned you got to try it out so it was a lot of dipstick approach uh we knew that online is important it all became omni channel because and i think you mentioned it as well saying the consumer looks at it online then goes to the shop nearby and says you know bhavish bhai naya kya hai market mein meko wo dikhaiye and correct. then goes back online and then look for the best deal online <laughs> and then buy so the consumer has become like that and so if you are not with the consumer through the journey where they have to see and find or get trust in your brand saying look i saw it online i saw it in all these places i saw it in the kitchen store next door and that comfort and confidence came only when it is through an omni channel approach if we are only in one channel uh, it probably may work it may not work uh, not but yes. over the years we've realized that you know an omni channel approach is very much important uh, to the success of any good brand uh, in india I, i think that was our whole purpose uh, i mean it's a story again because i spent a day doing market research myself and you realize that you know the same and this is more on the bag segment but the same expensive bags or fancy bags for women were available online also people can buy Very them bad. it's a known brand but that entire experience again touch and feel you know you want to feel the product understand it uh, that was it still it's part of our culture uh, and that sort of becomes extremely important to have an omni channel network uh, according to us in fact anand ji i want to go back to you and you know another question that hits me you know um, it's a very high frequency uh, market you know sales industry um, how do you bring out um, or how how do you what sort of techniques or strategies do you apply to bring out your products uniqueness or usp um, in, in this such a competitive market you know how, how do you do that and how do you suggest other people do that 
So, uh, I mean, I can tell you what we've done. Uh, it has worked for us. Obviously, it's a painstakingly slow process, but I think the what we realized is that the kitchen space per se is so under aware. I mean, again, you go back 25 years, the kitchen was one corner of the house. No one really cared as long as the food yeah. that came out of that is tasty. So very it was a very, very unaware. People didn't know the difference between, even today, I think, People don't know the difference between a good stainless steel and a bad stainless steel. There are. Uh, and people are uh, getting up to terms with that. Uh, so for us, I think content came first, which was through education and awareness. We call it edu-awareness. But, you know, getting the content out there for the consumer to first learn, understand what it is all about. No one, honestly, I mean, now you've got over open plan kitchens and, you know, the kitchen has become a part of the family affair or the part of the house so for uh earlier it wasn't the case so getting content out there after content also we call it the three c approach which is content first community after that and then uh commerce after that so content community and commerce that has been our approach to get the consumer on board and go through that journey with us uh because that's how we learned i mean the only reason for us to bring these brands is because we feel these brands are uh, better, they have a certain uh, ethos to it, they've got some background, they've got some history. So, and we've shared that with the consumer. By and large, we've also found that the consumer is extremely smart and, you know, just that they are not aware about some things. But when they're made aware, they they, they buy into your logic and your why, per se, and, and that makes it easier. So, content is sort of my one word answer to your question. In fact, that's, you know, very wisely what you said. We are in a generation where we have Netflix and OTT. And so you have the best of the world coming into your drawing room or your bedroom every day. And you're watching that and you want your own life to have exactly the same aspirational aspects that you would see anywhere else. So if there's a product that is moving in the US and you see it somewhere and you it sort of appeals to you, you you know that's why you know the craze for having open uh, uh, kitchens you know connected with dining tables and you know with separate um, 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 areas specific for certain things and that is besides basically because all of us the uh, entire next generation which is hooked on to ott and all that is able to see all that on a daily basis in their screens so there's there's no room for them you know earlier we used to have people that used to travel abroad and then come back and give ideas on what to do but today that's not required anymore you can you every new every youth is able to see things from around the world you know you know i i like to go to jaydeep ji jaydeep ji you know one of the things that we talk about which is first is getting new customers and then second is retaining customers you know uh, we've all looked at so many mechanisms of uh, uh, you know, getting in customers during the pandemic era where it was easy and uh, all that. And then some of those strategies may even continue in the current times because, uh, you know, strategies may remain the same, except for, you know, maybe the numbers may come down a little bit in terms of what strategy we're employing for which target group and things like that. So what is it that you have tried and uh, successfully used? So I think we targeted uh, how to get in customer, right? One point is aspirations, understanding the aspirations of people. I'll give you a small example, like uh, uh, probably 10 years uh, before, how many lights do all of us had in our bedroom? Probably at max two or three lights, right? How many lights do we have right now? At right least 20 now, yeah. It is nothing but aspirations moving up, right? So we played that card wherein wherever we were strong offline, right? We used to, instead of spending much on Google and Facebook and Instagram, because there you will have to incur cost, which may yes. not be a great capital uh, intensive thing for a, a startup like me. We started putting pamphlets inside uh, uh, those offline products saying that was if you uh, uh, come on our online, right, register your product, we will give you six months additional warranty, simple tactics like this, right? just to generate more interest and more traction on our website, on our Amazon platform or our, on our marketplace platform. Retention inherently, I think kitchen and appliances is a tough category. Repeat business uh, in this category is really tough. And hence we put it, put out range. Someone who has bought our mixer 
is not going to come back to me at least uh, for one year to buy again a mixer, right? What well, is it that I have to hook on, right? We introduce new products in kitchen and uh, segment so that at least the the SKU basket went up to upwards of hundred, right? And that was a strategy in in our domain which is necessary for brands uh, because without that it will become very difficult if you are playing in the mass consumer segment category. Right. Very good. So I think these two things uh, we did really well, and understanding the need of customers saying that okay, was no one's going to buy my 400, 500 mixer in South India, right? Because there the eating habits are very different. You very can't, different. You won't be able to make the chutney, <laughs> the type of chutney which they like in a 500 watt mixer, right? Uh, uh, so I, uh, uh, launching a one one thousand watt mixer there. So things like that, understanding in depth customer. Will only make you uh, uh, retain it. Excellent. You know, I'm going to go over to uh, uh, Mridula. You know, uh, 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 Mridula. You know, we we you are also uh, an entrepreneur, and you have a background of computer science. You 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 um, looked at worked in various capacities in uh, uh, internationally. Now, what are sort of digital solutions do you utilize to create and Um, I'd say er- error-free uh, customer relationship network, which can aid you um, and so you know in in achieving your vision uh, finally with your customer. So, what sort of things do you do, and what do you suggest Indian entrepreneurs put to put to work? The one of the biggest things uh, we see missing in the entrepreneurial space or with multiple companies in India is surveys. you know we are so much focused on pre sale and today we have lot of amazing platforms to make sure the customers journey all the way from discovery to purchase happens really smooth you know be it using a platform like shopify we've actually developed our custom erp uh, but the pre sale process has more or less been cracked and solved for any business today which they can just sign up at a minimal cost on any platform and give the customer a good experience where we seem to be failing is the post sale service we you know once the purchase is done are we making sure that the customer is happy with the purchase are we making sure that we are connected with the customer and just like jaydeep said even electronics uh, like just like kitchen is not a category where the consumer keeps coming back like fmcg yeah. you know there is a the ltv is quite low having said that then how do you make sure when they have a requirement that they come back uh, what we say in the company is if somebody bought a midi product a midi audio product and never had an issue with it they might or might not pick midi the next time they're searching for an electronics product but if they did have an issue and we were there for them resolved it seamlessly that is a customer you have acquired for life so we have been focusing a lot on the post sale service all the way from the day the customer makes a purchase uh, we send out content as to how to use the product because these are electronics how do you use it what are the different functionalities a few days later a agent calls just to check are you happy is there something we can help you with you know anything i can resolve for you no this is you reminding them multiple times of your brand but also brand. telling the customer we are there for you this is a brand that cares and like i said if by any chance they have an issue we've built a seamless system where the customer doesn't have to get in touch with any customer or not touch they have to get in touch with us but doesn't have to talk to any customer service representative they just have to fill a form and end to end a product is picked up checked if uh, any issues repaired and sent back delivered to their doorstep doorstep to doorstep at a maximum of 7 days so making sure you know post sale service is what really connects with the customer and then you know once you've satisfied the yeah. customer once they feel like you okay, care then you call them then we'll tell them see we also have sound bars you know this is a brand you start believing in so that is how we've developed or used digital primarily for the post sale uh, you know customer should say you know uh, i i need to go to ashok ji with this you know because uh, embrain is such a 
well-known brand today. You know, it has it, it has scored a, over a lot of other brands that are in this space, created a space for itself. And, uh, you know, um, I think consecutively for three or four years, it has been awarded the uh, best power bank brand um, uh, in, the, in the past, I think from 18 to 21. I'm not sure exactly which years, but I know I know that. So uh, Ashokji, when, when we talk about, you know, uh, customer retention or getting the customer to buy more and more or spread the you know news about you as a brand and, you know, talking about I have used this. Why didn't you buy this referrals and stuff like that? It's all about the experiences of each customer and how he has uh, dealt with the brand in terms of customer service. So could you take us through uh, what sort of a order journey or customer journey uh, do you have at Embrain and how do you ensure that uh, it is the same uh, consistent, exceptional customer service that uh, each of your customers get? across the various touch points that you have so yes we started uh, 11 years back and the initial time obviously the product basket was limited so we were very much involved into the service and all the things into the organization like every entrepreneur has the same so from that time to now embrane in Embrain, I can say we are very much focused about the product quality as we have the manufacturing system in house. So we can be taken, taken care very much for that. So what about the customer service and the product experience? So since we are, we have completed 11 this last, last month only. So we go, without quality, nobody can be stay there and for the very quality. Good for the quality you have to be very much focused so in, even since this is the we have completed 11 years i am personally taking care of the every weekly meet every week the meeting of the service team and the product team for how many issues and what kind of issues we are facing right. from the customers and what what is the tag time and how we are getting back to them and how we can improve into into the product so after sales yes we have to be taken care but but after the input of the customer how we are resolving the issues in the future future shipments that is also very important so very if your product is size it cannot be 100 percent you have to work hard every day every time because the technologies are very dynamic and you have to ensure that the updation coming into the market will be inbuilt into, into, into your product every time. So we are frequently taking care, the, taking care for the, all the concerns and we are taking all the understanding inputs coming from the customer. So it is helping, helping us very much and we can serve the products more and more better to our customer. I think for, along with service, you have to be take care that what kind of improvement you can do. That is very much important. I have a lot of questions coming in, but I'm going to take a few. The first question that I have here, which I feel we need to answer. And, uh, you know, I think it will help a lot of other entrepreneurs. This is Ranan, and it is from Satendra. And the question is, can you please provide insights in your, into your marketing and customer acquisition strategies for a brand like Think Kitchen? Uh, sure. Uh it, just to add to, and I'll answer the question, but just to add to what Ashok was uh, mentioning, I think please, please do. Uh, beside, on the quality side, everything is important. I think the one more important point we realized is the mindset of our team. And, you know, India mein aane ke baad, the one thing I realized that a lot of us, all team members, you know, we'll end up saying, thoda bahut to chalta hai. When it comes from within our team saying, you know, I'm not going to accept a product quality, whether it is a, a kitchen product, whether it is a knife, whether it is a headphone, any, if we accept or put our foot down on quality, you know, you're getting it first time, right? Then you actually don't have to worry about customer service as much. And that's something which, you know, we, uh, 
almost every week i have a, a discussion in my team saying yaar please let us not go into that movies thoda bahut ye to hota hi hai aise to india mein chalta hi hai and i like nahi chalna chahiye so that's a Very thought uh, i just thought i should share it with everyone else cuz uh, so that's, that's extremely really important. important really really very important absolutely completely concur with you on that in in coming to the marketing strategies i think our marketing strategy the first strategy was you know we got to create awareness because we were bringing uh, a lot of the international brands to india who are looking at india and for them it looks very simple they say oh 1.5 billion people so obviously there is a huge market here and they don't <laughs> understand india is a country of many countries uh, in itself so uh, very cool. so awareness from a consumer standpoint that was our big thing we had to spend money uh, we had to take a risk uh, like ashok ji mentioned in the past also and a little bit of what i call dipstick try it out see if it's working then up the game a little bit see if it's working then up the game a little bit so for us uh, it was a mix of everything we i mean you we don't know how successful it's going to be unless you try it uh, so we did uh, google campaigns we did our social media campaigns we did uh, influencer campaigns uh, we still do some of them some work some don't work uh, it is a amalgamation of so many things because it's not just who the social media influencer is but it's also about the time of the year the time of the day that has gone out so you've got to i mean there's no unfortunately or fortunately there's no cookie cut answer isme it is a continuous in a trial and error and evolving process uh, but again awareness was our uh, main thing and just to spread the word saying quality kitchen products are available in india right. at a valuable price uh, and kitchen is an important part of the home i mean Absolutely. you know the one thing that you know we all use 365 days a year three times a day is the kitchen you know kitchen. and we don't we don't give it as much credit unfortunately you know we don't give mothers or you know wives or anyone who is in the, the kitchen maker is not given enough credit and for really? me, you know that is so see you know you've got to give credit and i use many examples around the saying we didn't care you know what our cookware was i'm like but that is the last thing the or food is touching before it's going inside your body why don't yes. you care about it? Uh, absolutely so that awareness and education was our marketing thing saying jab जब समझ में आ जाएगा कस्टमर को जब लॉजिक समझ में आ जाएगा ना फिर प्रोडक्ट बेचना नहीं पड़ेगा वेरी करेक्ट फिर सो दैट इज एसेंशियली आवर सॉर्ट ऑफ थॉट प्रोसेस इट्स इट्स स्लो इट टेक्स अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम बट इवेंचुअली इट्स सॉर्ट ऑफ सस्टेनेबल इन द लॉन्ग रन एक्सीलेंट यू नो अशोक जी के लिए सवाल है uh, ये आनंद से आया है uh, सर ये सवाल है कि हाउ डू यू डील विद रैपिड ऑब्सिलेंस कि आज तीन हजार तीन हजार फिर पांच हजार फिर बीस हजार फिर तीस हजार यू नो पावर बैंक्स तो कंटिन्यूसली मतलब चेंज हो रहे हैं कई सारी मतलब सब चीजें चेंज हो रही हैं यू नो बड़ा रैपिड सा एक सिचुएशन है टेक्नोलॉजी में कि पहले तो हम लोग एस ड्राइव बोलते थे फिर वो एस ड्राइव दो हो गया अढ़ाई हो गया फिर पांच हो गया फिर वन टी हो गया अब वो भी ऑनबोर्ड मिलता है तो मतलब टेक्नोलॉजी में बड़ी एक दौड़ सी लगी हुई है कि रोज नए प्रोडक्ट्स लाने हैं तो उससे आप कैसे डील करते हैं सो वी आर डीलिंग विद इन न्यू न्यू एज टेक्नोलॉजी प्रोडक्ट्स आई कैन से सो द टेक्नोलॉजी ऑलवेज गिव यू द रूम टू इंप्रूव योरसेल्फ टू ऐड ऑन समथिंग सो मतलब व्हेन वी स्टार्टेड द पावर बैंक्स वी स्टार्टेड विद द 2600 एमएच एंड 5000 एमएच पावर बैंक and the we just understood the people demand what they were looking for and what kind of requirement they were having so we started with the 10000 then we started the power bank of 20000 i think we were the first one in india to having the 20 mh powering the yeah. shami was also in india on that time so then we get to know what kind of add- additional things we can do into the products then we started with 30000 mh and by that time we just get to know the 30000 mh product cannot be carried into the flights so <laughs> that's why the people were set up to 20000 only then we calculated our by ourselves that what kind of highest capacity we can do so the for the flights i just will mention here the if uh, the battery capacity is 3.7 v everybody knows that so if we are using the 30000 mh power bank that it is triple one 
W H, and the flight can be carry only hundred hundred W H. Then Very we correct. then we calculated and we innovated the product of twenty twenty seven thousand M H, which can be taught in total ninety nine point nine W H. So we, we can we can maintain 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 that room, and then we go for the fast charging products and in the meanwhile what we got to know the when the people are going for the long drive then they will require more more and more capacity then we started with the 50000 mh and right now we are having the power bank of 100 100 watt power bank which can charge wow. your laptop and other products and in the last month only we have also launched one another product which is which is having around 60 60000 mh battery which can wow. give you the which, which can give you the charging for the uh, uh, small fridge for tv it is for the camping product actually the uh, excellent price ye constant ek ye ye aap jo bol rahe hain ye constant matlab we have to be on your feet ki har din mujhe kuch naya dhoondna hai yeah obviously otherwise you will be very back in the in koi aur kar lega bilkul sahi hai aur fir aap piche reh jayenge बिल्कुल सही आई थिंक आनंद को जवाब मिल गया होगा जो आपने ये जवाब दिया नेक्स्ट आई हैव क्वाइट अ फ्यू क्वेश्चंस गाइस बट आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टेक ऑल द क्वेश्चंस आई डोंट वांट टू रिटेन एवरीबॉडी हियर फॉर वेरी लॉन्ग बट आई एम गोइंग टू जस्ट टेक सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस दैट आई फील आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ अस दिस इज दर्श ही इज आस्किंग फॉर मृदुला एज यू हैव मेंशनड अबाउट गैप्स इन द मार्केट व्हाट आर द untouched gaps in the market on which a small entrepreneur or a startup can build i think that is like you asking me to give you a business idea <laughs> or telling me what our viewers ask idea. anything <laughs> <laughs> you see baiti ganga mein haath do rahe hain ki bhai kuch to idea mile hai you know ye sab bade bade entrepreneurs hain jinhone अपना रास्ता बनाया है खुद ही तो थोड़े थोड़ा सा गंगा का पानी गंगा जल उनकी तरफ भी मिल जाए सो सी व्हेन वी आर डूइंग बिजनेस वी सी अ लॉट ऑफ गैप्स एक्चुअली इन मल्टीपल डिफरेंट थिंग्स फॉर एग्जांपल इन सॉफ्टवेयर दैट वी यूज शिप रॉकेट फॉर एग्जांपल बिफोर शिप रॉकेट केम इन डिलीवरीज कोऑर्डिनेटिंग विद मल्टीपल लॉजिस्टिक्स पार्टनर्स वाज अ ह्यूज हेडेक व्हाट इज शिप रॉकेट नथिंग बट एन एग्रीगेटर ऑफ डिफरेंट लॉजिस्टिक्स पार्टनर्स right uh, mm-hmm. then we have uh, unicommerce which is an aggregator of multiple marketplaces so you know kitchen is a age old uh, category and we have entrepreneurs sitting right here that have figured out a white space in it so i don't know what business idea to give you all <laughs> i can say is <laughs> are definitely there even in our category when we are trying to expand we are always looking for where it, the see the first question we ask is why should we launch another product why should we launch a home audio product we we launched good. sound bars last year sound bars were already existing you know we had international and uh, domestic brands this is captured 40% market share in less than 18 months how we've asked that question in the existing market what is it that is lacking and that is that huge wattage being able to at a very affordable price to the consumer wasn't available so i can't give you that idea but you know you just have to keep looking and when you feel like oh i'm not really able to do a great job at this probably that is something you could start and offer it uh, amazon for example we always thought you know when we were dealing with amazon we could just start an ams service now we have a lot of companies when we start <laughs> we could start an ams service along with doing it for our own company so the gaps are there uh, hope that is good enough yeah, that's, answer <laughs> that's some f- uh, fodder for the guys that uh, that want to get ideas uh, from this um, uh, discussion you know uh, uh, one of the things that for jaydeep that we that i have actually there are four questions i have for jaydeep but i'm going to ask one Uh, right way you know uh, what these are what these guys are talking about is uh, jaydeep ji please tell me what strategies did you use to effectively manage the complexities of omni channel marketing got it uh so i think what midula ji just said and she mentioned you uh, uh, unicommerce right which is nothing but an aggregator right 
so the first and foremost thing is to is like your phone is a very powerful thing ye a lot can happen in this 6 inches right and what all what all things can you get on one particular screenshot is important for an entrepreneur when i say that it means ki kya main apni inventory across amazon flipkart website offline ye state ye district city can it be there on my palm at any given point of time right if that kind of operational efficiency is there it is easy to run your marketing campaigns knowing that okay this is what is working uh, in this segment this is what is working for amazon this is what is working for this platform and accordingly we uh, uh, scaled it up uh, so to give you an example let's say facebook facebook is a very tier 2 tier 3 orientation right the ads that you will run although meta as a channel will remain common but i think the the tg of instagram versus facebook is quite different right the kind of creative that you would like to, uh, for someone to see on instagram is in a very real format right uh, the fun. kind of creative that you would want in on facebook is is very uh, i i would say the sense of humor quotient needs to be very high there because tier 2 tier 3 market uh uh tries to capture that uh, uh it needs to make you laugh for them to stick around uh, on the platform right so some of these uh, strategies worked really well uh, for us figuring out the tier 2 tier 3 influencers right you will not have heard of uh chefs in tier 2 tier 3 cities but they are so popular in their respective city is like indore ke andar ek particular chef itna popular hoga ki humme kisi ko pata hi nahi hoga ki pata hi nahi hoga bilkul sahi but they exist for that audience for their target audience, audience right it is important for them to associate themselves with a local hero, right so the local hero approach is something that we did uh, uh, really good in terms of tying up with these influencers saying that okay this is what this is a person who is popular in jaipur this is a popular person who is popular in rachi this is a person popular in indore why not uh, get hold of these guys instead of spending lakhs or uh, uh, multiple in lakhs on a larger brand so that worked really uh, well for us excellent you know i think we've already come to the end but i am going to request all of you dekhiye hamare paas lakhon aise vyapari hain retailers hain entrepreneurs hain jo ye sab un jinko ye sab ek lag raha hai ek quagmire lag raha hai ki bhaiya kahan phase hue hain hum log mujhe humko aage badhna hai but rasta nahi mil raha kai sare i mean aap log ne jo samay aaj diya hai I think that is going to be really, really, very helpful for a lot of people. It would have clarified a lot of doubts, and I'm going to request all of you to please stay connected with all of us so that we are able to come back to you for advice. There are a lot of times when we have, uh, you know, entrepreneurs who are unable to uh, overcome their challenges. Simple words from existing entrepreneurs, icons like you, idols like you, make a lot of difference. to how they you know interact in their uh, you know uh, business in their daily lives and uh, so on i am going to request each one of you to please leave us with uh, uh, a few sentences for each entrepreneur that is watching this so that they are able to then get motivated move forward find a way in their own lives because ultimately unless all of us come together and support each other we will not be able to create the india of our dreams and and i'm going to start with ashok ji thank you vinod thank you very much so the idea is behind to do any business is about the need of the market first we have to understand about the need of the market and what kind of tg we are going to attract so we have to understand the long term growth for that market as well because when we are entering into any kind of business then we have to be there for the longer time so if the because some markets are we can understand the market is not much longer and market is not having that level of growth so while you are entering into the marketing market then you have to understand long term journey for that industry or for that for that category and then you can have more and more options for you so be positive be patient so the market will give you much learning when you are into the market so what i can say you have to work hard 
on the product and if the product is good the market is there then you will have the success without any doubt excellent thank you very much sir uh, jaydeep ji i think uh, uh, keeping it simple is the uh, advice that i got Uh, I think as an investment banker, हम लोगों की आदत थी कि एक एक्सेल शीट जब तक मतलब उसमें दस टैब्स नहीं हो जाए गुड एक्सेल शीट वर्ल्ड द रिवर्स इज एक्चुअली वॉट इज ट्रू इन दिस वर्ल्ड राइट सिंपलेस्ट थिंग दैट यू विल बी एबल टू डू इन वन शॉर्ट एक्सेल इज द बेस्ट विल गिव यू द बेस्ट आउटकम सो आई थिंक दैट दैट समथिंग विच हैज वर्क फॉर मी एक्सेलेंट thank you very much anand ji uh from my point of view i think simple i think your mentality uh, you know everyone's individual mentality will shape your reality so if your mentality is ki yaar ye nahi hoga ye kaise hoga main ye kaise karunga gap nahi mil raha market mein to wo nahi hoga but if you sit down and say yaar ye nahi ho raha kya aur ho sakta hai ye nahi chal raha theek hai kya ho sakta hai aaj fail ho gaya kal uthna hai wapas you know so that mindset that you have as an entrepreneur i mean i can most likely speak for all of us on the screen that we didn't have success every day of the year for all of our entrepreneurial life very correct we had phenomenal failures uh and maybe more failures than good days uh but you know there are those good days which make a big difference and you've got to be patient about those good days it's got to be a, a, a nothing comes overnight so you know you can't achieve success in neither of these unicorns or anything any successful company you've seen has happened overnight so uh, who and for every success that we're seeing there are maybe 1000 who have won be the success ones are the ones which went kept at it and for me that is the whole thing you know there are bad days but you know the mindset has to be like you know today's a bad day aaj duck pe out ho gaya kal fir se khelunga dekhte kya hota hai you know so that i think is is the one thing i want to tell everyone uh you know just keep at it you know there's there's always there's always an idea out there there's always a business opportunity out there excellent thank you very much i am going to i always let women have the last word so i'm going to let midula <laughs> have the last word in today's discussion but this will not be the last time we all will be talking and i can promise you that this you are all an amazing set of entrepreneurs i'd love to get together with all of you and again discuss more more things maybe in person maybe in an offline platform wherever possible so thank you again very much midula over to you thank you so much It has been a wonderful panel for me to uh, heard lots of amazing things that are going on in different entrepreneurs lives and i totally agree with all the uh, suggestions given uh one thing i would like to add from my end is figure out what you are passionate about never get into business because somebody else was successful somebody else started a business that they were able to grow uh figure out and see what is it that moves you that keeps you going and where you probably will have that skill to develop and grow and that would be the right business for you excellent excellent thank you very much all of you i'm going to hand over i'm uh, i think sushma ji is back here so sushma ji over to you i think we've had an amazing panel today and uh, there is some really very very be useful i mean i've got almost 34 more 35 more questions here but i don't think we have the time so we will have to somehow you know collate all this get back to all these wonderful entrepreneurs get their feedback and maybe pass it back to the people that have asked these questions but it's been an amazing panel so thank you all of you for talking to me back to sushma ji uh thank you very much sir uh thanks vinod sir thanks uh, rajpal ji baldava ji jaydeep ji mrudula ji thank you so much uh, for coming here today sharing these uh, lovely insights and experiences and i am continuing to read so many questions uh, but uh, it would be my humble request to each one of you that please continue to be um, uh, associated with us and uh, be connected with us as mentors because uh, it's only through continuous engagement with our entrepreneurs uh, you know uh, it, it would be nice to uh, assist them with these uh, uh, concerns these queries and continuous brainstorming actually helps them to take right decisions at the right time 
So it's such a privilege and pleasure to uh, have you uh, on this program today. Uh, thank you once again. Thanks to all our viewers who have been uh, watching us, listening to you and uh, sharing their questions. And I wish uh, each one of you a very great uh, evening and uh, once again, a very happy Teacher's Day. And may this uh, knowledge continue to, uh, you know, bring light and uh, uh, spread uh, sunshine in all our uh, lives. So thank you very, very much. Have a great evening. Thank you.